mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I, I am. Look, see it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A knithing. Kind of curse, seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. Born is feverish. Grows weaker by the day. Tried to lift the curse myself, but... No luck. I can help you. One of two ways. First... I can try to convince whoever put up the knithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. It's clearing up. Too many cents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. Greetings, white hair. Pendle ah, hey. for your sec. The blood of kings. Dunar only turned all pious Peter after he violated a priestess. He feared the wrath of modern prayer. That's what. Tell me honestly, do you believe? Greetings. Greetings. See you. Fare thee well. Greetings, white hair. Pendle watches over planned for Greetings, your Greetings, white hair. The blood of kings. Lovely scar. Wanna see mine? Someone help Bran into the next room. Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. The blood of kings. Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the knithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. 
Me, I was to be Lothar's bride. But he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. And no, I've not been had. Nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. You know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. There's truth to that lava by the ice chain. J-O-N-N-A. May it be quick and painless. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. <laughs> 